Welcome to the Getting Started Guide of Meteotrad, an online specialized Dictyopedia for translators on meteorology and climatology. Meteotrad is a lexicographical project resulting from a doctoral thesis at the Department of Translation and Interpreting of the University of Granada in Spain. Meteotrad provides four access routes to the information included in its database equivalence, definitions, usage, and knowledge. Each route is designed to cover a communicative or cognitive need of translators at different levels. All four routes are interconnected following the lexicographical principle of relevance. The main objective of this principle is to provide users with the relevant information they need, when they need it, and how they need it, so that they can continue with their translation task as quickly as possible after each query. The equivalence route intends to cover the communicative function at the lexical level in the translator's target language. In order to enter a query, simply click on the route. Choose the input language. Type a term inside the query bar. Choose the output language and click on search. The equivalence route includes a section with conceptual equivalence. These are the equivalents recommended by the lexicographer and the atmospheric sciences expert. All equivalents have grammatical and semantic information in the target language, possible valid synonyms in the same context, as well as possible acronyms. Translation notes, recommendations, and external links are also available. In this route, you will also find a section with textual equivalents. These are terms that can be suitable in terms of usage and context, even though they may convey a slightly different meaning. Users can keep performing queries on this route. However, they can display the information from other routes, such as the usage route for the same entry term, as well as definitions and knowledge in the translator's source or target language. Let us now go back to the home page. This time, we will try the usage route for the same term. The usage route intends to cover the communicative function in the translator's target language at the textual level. This includes a section with extensive and representative examples from a specialized corpus in which the term, synonym or variant can be found in context. Translators are also provided with a specific section with frequent and infrequent collocations of a term, synonym or variant. These are distributed according to parts of speech and meaning in alphabetical order. Users can keep performing queries on this route. However, they can display the equivalence route for the same term in the other two languages, as well as definitions and knowledge in the three languages. Back in the home page, let's see what we can find in the definitions route for the same term. The definitions route intends to cover the cognitive function in the translator's input language at the conceptual level. This route includes a standard definition and image for lay people, 
as well as an advanced definition and image with extensive data for semi-experts. Users can keep performing queries on this route. Users can also display the data contained in the knowledge route for the same concept in that specific language, or resort to the other routes in the other two languages. Back again at the home page, we'll see what the knowledge route can provide translators with. The knowledge route intends to cover the cognitive function at the subject field level in the translator's input language. This route includes conceptual networks from the Ecolexicon Terminological Knowledge Base, multimodal concept maps, and etymocognitive maps for modern Greek terms and expressions sharing the same roots. Besides, users can also display the data contained in the definitions route, first in the input language and then in the other two languages, as well as the data in knowledge and equivalence in the other two languages. Now let's take a look at the menu at the home page. In the menu, users can find additional information about the project. In About, you can find out what this project is about and where it comes from. In How To, you can find out how to make the most of Meteotry, its routes, terms and concepts. In the section Who, you can learn about the team behind Meteotrad and how to contact them. Feel free to tell us any problem you encounter, your suggestions or what is missing in Meteotrad in the feedback section. Research Here you will soon find published papers and a doctoral thesis on Meteotrad the questionnaire used to survey translators on their needs and preferences, the questionnaire used to evaluate it, some results, statistics, etc. Assistance. Here you will soon find useful tips for translating texts on meteorology and climatology from and to English, Spanish and Greek. In the section Contribute, you can make a fast online donation if you find this project useful and would like to help us develop it. Thanks for watching.